Hello everyone, and welcome to a game I forgot the name of. If you've been watching the news, like me, you might realize that we're all f***ed. For many reasons, but right now, the most relevant threat is Putin, who's been a very naughty boy doing some naughty things in naughty places. If this keeps up, experts project that Russia will become the sole superpower by 2023. But one scientist, Professor D's Nuts, projects a 90% chance that Russia will become the sole superpower on Tuesday. If we don't stop them by then, we're f***ed. But faster than originally expected. So we gotta stop it. Professor D's Nuts also didn't like this, so he tasked me, me specifically for whatever reason, with destroying Russia. And he gave me a time machine so I can go all the way back. So we're gonna go back there and we're gonna do whatever we can to make sure that Russia never, uh, rushes into great powerness. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, What's going on? <laughs> okay. So as it turns out, time travel causes extreme nausea. Wait a second. No, it's not. Professor D's nuts never told me about this. It must be Russian meddling. Putin must know that we're onto them. We gotta get this over with and fast. By the way, you might be wondering why I time traveled as Russia in particular here. Uh, the reason is to destroy Russia. We of course need to become a part of Russia so we can dismantle it from the inside. So something we're actually gonna do is we're actually gonna status quo with the Caucasian enemy. Okay, so the much more important thing we need to do is we need to defeat Circassia. Circassia, however you call it. And we're releasing ourselves as Circassia. An uncivilized nation. All of our money is going to military spending. We gotta put that down a bit. We're at zero. The main thing that we're going to be doing at the start is we're going to be keeping a great relations with Russia, and uh, we're going to westernize. It's the only things we can do at this point, of course. And uh, most importantly, we're going to be watching Europe. There is one thing we need. This whole thing hinges on it. Tanatuva. All right. So a great thing that we get from the from white piecing the Caucasian inmate is that the uh, Russia doesn't actually have cores on them, so we can annex them ourselves, which is actually very important because that's the only uh, place we have to expand right now. Everyone's pro-military, so we're bound to spend too much money on our military forever. Wait, acquire state? There are more than one state? What? Oh, are you kidding me? So we're gonna have to take Azerbaijan from them before we can take the rest of- Let's free people. We're gonna free Azerbaijan first. There we go, we have Armenia now, and um, we have prepped the Caucasian Imamate to uh, be annexed by us. So long as he doesn't annex the Imamate. How do you say that? Emma mate? Emmate? Emma mat? Emma mat? Emma mate? Russia is allied to France. I wonder what type of um, conversations those guys are having. Alright, listen. This Terminator is infiltrating our timeline. It looks like a normal country that would be here normally, but underneath, it's actually somebody from the past, or future rather, who's trying to destroy you and change the timeline. It has a lot of soldier pops, a lot of accepted pops. It's controlled by a human person, like a conglomerate, rather than an actual country. But outside, it looks like a normal country. It's pops, they're all the same. They have laborers and soldiers, as well as aristocrats. All created for the illusion that this country is real and meant to be here. Look, France, I know you want to help, but... Pay attention! The old ones brought weapons from the future, so we could spot them easily and destroy them. But these ones are new. They look like they're from this time period. Pops, rebels, having to civilize, everything. Very hard to spot. I had to wait a long time to figure out exactly what time they went to. Oi, I'm not stupid. I know that time travel is not a thing. No, not yet. Not for about 200 years. So, it's from the future. One possible future, f for your point of view. I'm not, I'm not sure of all this time travel stuff. And you are from the future too? Right. Right. These Terminators don't feel pain. I do. Please don't do that again. Just let me go. Listen. Understand, there's a Terminator out there. It can't be reasoned with. It can't be bargained with. It doesn't feel any remorse towards you. It sees you as nothing but as a means to the horrible future. It wants to destroy you to prevent that future. It will not stop until you are dead. Can you stop it? 
Maybe. With this country, I don't know. I'm not sure where he is, I can't see him. But luckily for us, I have a special technology that will be able to find him if we just scan his head of state. Oh, great, and now we have a regency, which certainly puts a wrench in our plans. I have Jeshin and Dagestani as accepted pops. Wow, you sure know your pops. Those pops are great for defense. They'll fight, they have a military, they read and stuff. Hey, you can't do that. Wrong. Don't tell mom, I'm in Chechnya. Oh, hey, we can do foreign training methods. Um, yeah, we'll do it. We have 191 research points to see if annexing them. It does, okay. Um, so yeah, get foreign training methods, I guess. It's probably worth it, even if you can only like, declare war on... Wait a second. Wait a second. Screw you, I want research points. I think we may have set ourselves up for success here. And here we are. Azerbaijan? Prepare to be Azerbaijan. <laughs> okay. Um, terminate. Hasta la vista, baby. Alright, and yeah, this... <laughs> I didn't look at the map. This is awful. This is... Uh, but we're not here for attraction. We're here to destroy Russia. That's my only goal. Russia. What's going on here? Oh, Polish nationals. Cool. Oh, are you kidding me? Poland's actually... Ha what? Literally the first time I've ever seen that happen. That is weird. You know what? I think it's because uh, of what we're doing here. We're trying to reach in Russia. And it's working. Hold up. I don't think we're the only Terminator here. What? Why is Holstein in the sphere of the UK? Shrielstick Holstein is Prussian. It's about as Prussian as it gets. But not Holstein. Holstein is British. Afghanistan, who is this? How do we not have enough money to spend for the army? We don't have an army. Yeah, I just realized that we're kind of like a snake. We're just, uh, one province long. All the way down to our little tail. We might even have a little head if we get Crimea. What? Okay. So Poland's free, but if North Germany can't form, this game is pretty much toast. Plus, Poland being free actually might be awful for us. Because it makes Prussia and Russia not as much of an enemy. We have decided to open our doors to the West. Fine. We'll do it. If it helps us destroy Russia. That's my mission. That was my dog. She's having a nightmare. This is why I need to destroy Russia. I blame Russia for that. What are you doing with my technologies and my dog? Let's destroy them. And here we are. Military constructions and westernized. Wagons west. Woo. Oh, Russia will actually ally us. Nice. All right, let's see if we can do this. Declare war. Will Russia join? They will join. Let's see if they're competent enough. Oh, no. No. Oh, we're actually, <laughs> we're actually defeating the Italians. On mountains, I might add. Alright, I think we're actually carrying this. Uh, Russia isn't doing so well right now. Well, there you go, Circassian, Circassian Tripoli. Circassian, Circassian, I don't know. I don't really care either. We have Macron now. North Germany is still not a thing. You know, so far I think we've just made Russia stronger, so I don't think we're doing a good job. You know, something I really hate about Victoria 2 is that there's a lot of countries where you just can't do anything interesting. It just gets really boring, it's all, and you're just watching. And really, the problem is that since they're all such carbon copies, even though they're in vastly different areas of the world, they all end up really just the same, and, you know, it's just boring. By the way, it's 1900, and there still is no North Germany. Why the heck is Holstein even independent in the first place? We're actually gonna have to redo this because of bad RNG. Ah, okay. Well, Russia declared on us. What did they declare on us for? Why do they have a core on that now? Since when? We're actually done for. If uh, Prussia can't form North Germany, even if they form North Germany, they don't hate Russia because Poland exists. Uh... Well, it looks like we can't win a Circassia. Circassia. Plus, I can't even pronounce it. But luckily for us, we have a little thing called time travel. It's how we got here in the first place. It's why we're trying to kill him. And we can do it again. This game sucked. Oh, I, I just backed out of Victoria too. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops.
Hey guys, if you've been watching the news like me, you know that Rush is not being a very good dude. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna play as them to destroy them f from the past, so that they can't do the things now. <sighs> we're gonna be doing it a bit different. I'm not playing Circassia again. We're gonna sabotage Russia a slight bit more this time. <laughs> Here we are, playing as Dagestan. Everything is against us, and we have to fight Russia. As Dagestan, we're D Dagestan, we are primarily Dagestani, and uh, we're basically the uh, successor state, in a way, of the Cossack Hetament, which means that we get the Azerbanis, and we also get cores on Azerbaijan, and, um, yeah, we're... <laughs> we have the potential to become the strongest guy here, is what I'm saying. So we release Circassia, Chechnya, and Azerbaijan. And, uh, we're gonna do the same exact thing, except this time we have Circassia, Chechnya, and Azerbaijan. It's kind of tough to get wool. How do you get the wool for that army? RGOs. Okay, they actually... Okay. I should have played as Chechnya, but you wouldn't... No, I'm not gonna do it. I want to spread this light green throughout the world. Looks like Russia's trying to get Chechnya into their sphere. <laughs> Just like real life, but uh, that's gonna be tough for us, because if they put them in the sphere, then of course they're gonna declare on us, and it's not gonna be very nice. Why do you have this big of an army? It turns out Shashnia is OP. There we go. They attacked us, but our general can destroy them. No, 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 no it can't. No, it can't. Uh oh. Uh, we lost. And here we are playing Shashnia. We're gonna justify on them to conquer them. Dagestan is gonna be easy, it's gonna be great, and we're gonna have the biggest army. Holy crap, look at that. This is actually massive. <laughs> That's kind of overkill considering our neighbors, but you know what? Let them fear our might. And look at that, Shechenia. Well, I guess we're not really ready yet. All right, and here we are, a few years in, a bit faster than we were able to do as Circassia. We have pretty much everything uh, that Circassia had, except we also have Kelexar and Vatsky. I like how out of all of our cores, the only one that actually has <laughs> Shechenian people in it, Shechenian, however you say it, is in Grozny, and the other two are just Circassians and uh, Dagestanis. Please. Prussia, for the love of love, please do not let the UK take Holstein again. I can't go through that. I swear there's a way to win his Bhutan. I just haven't found it yet. Here we are. We're gonna have a good Germany this time. They just need Saxony. Oh, I, I think they're about to get Saxony. I'm gonna make a massive freaking army for no reason. It's just gonna, it's just gonna get rid of some of our money. Too bad we can't have car bombs to make this ultra realistic. But in any case, uh, we're making a massive army. It's something that the world has never seen likes of before. What? <laughs> Let's break this down. So South Peru got free from, from Peru, Bolivia, but North Peru did not, so they formed the Andine Federation. Then the Andine Federation got attacked by Brazil, and they nixed that bar, okay. And Buenos Aires is here too, just to really make everything look nice. Well, we'll see if the Andine Federation can come back, they're normally very powerful. Man, poor Bolivia, they formed it only to trip at the end. Hmm. It appears as though my ear is bleeding. I blame Russia. More specifically, I blame Putin. I bet he's sending stuff back in time to try to attack me. Anyways, I'll be back. This is actually kind of... Uh-oh. The attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed. But my resolve has never been greater. We're gonna get back at Putin by destroying Russia in the past. I'm slightly deaf, but I don't need to have sound to play this game. Let's go. I should just stay on the screen for as long as possible, and I'll just, like, do times 10 speed or something so you can see just, just how long. Just so you can get an idea of just how long I'm sitting here, in case any of you guys haven't played of a, a, a Uncivilized Nation before. I'm doing this back to back. It's the same day. No time has passed. Wait, is the North German Federation... <gasps> Poland's here! Come with me if you want to live. No, I'm good. Oh, crap. Well, it's probably for the best. Poland is dead. There we go, Germany. She. I'm eating spaghetti. <coughs> oh, now Colombia's in here too? What's going on? Uh, this is exactly what makes Bolivia such a sexy lass. Lad. Don't know what it is anymore. Well, uh, we're stuck here losing money at an increasing rate. It's pretty alarming. So we have 1.05 million Shechen reactionaries. 
but I'm a bit confused, because if we look up here, we realize that our population is less than this. Russia, stop sending people over the border. <laughs> Wait a second, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I just realized that if we unite the, Caucas the Caucasus Muslims, all we get is cores and the stuff we already own. Aren't the Azerbaijans uh, Muslim? Aren't, aren't they Caucasian? Why don't we get cores in that? Well, I'm getting more spaghetti here. Don't be bad. Oh, Peru, so I think, I think they're finally free. No, no they're not. Holy crap, Russia's not doing well. Bit off a bit more than you could chew, eh, Putin? Guys, guys, we want to join you. Bring us with. And for the second time today, Western eyes. Wagons West. Yeah, take this, Russia. We sure are showing them. Yeah, we actually westernized faster this time. Um, I think my technique was a bit better. <laughs> Of course, I'm not gonna tell you what it did, because that'd make it too easy if you wanted to try to play this. I'm the only one who can play uh, Chechnya. Oh no. Oh, Germany, why are you here? Germany is now allied with Russia, but why? Why? Sweden and Finland still are sadly to the Russians. What's going on? Uh, please, please, I just, I just don't want things to make sense again. This is. To be honest, this is pretty fun if you have spaghetti. Okay, chili. <laughs> Calm down there a little bit. Uh-oh. I just joined a war. I don't know why. Why Afghanistan? Why? I was complicit in this. Not as great as North Angola, which is still under Portuguese control. But it's it's, it's up there. What? What is this crisis? Over North Somaliland? Both the Turks and the Dutch want to colonize it? This? This is German. <laughs> Wait a second, Abkhazia is free. Oh, <laughs> I think Abkhazia had sleeper agents. Wait a second, no. This is this is this is Russian meddling again. It's, it's Putin. Wait a second, I just realized this is bad. Russia has a core on that. Well, let's see if Russia declares on us or not. No, oh, they just released Poland. No, not this again. Oh, Egypt civilized. That's interesting. Here we are. Um, Russia declared on us. Ah, fine, we'll give it to you. Scandinavia formed. Cool. How long, how long has this war been going on for? <laughs> oh, that's why Argentina's doing awfully. They can't get um, any of their events because they're stuck in a perma war with a country that doesn't exist. Alright, so that's why Chile got so big. Apparently you're making negative $6,000 a day. Nah, I gotta get some new mathematicians. <laughs> and finally, we're getting something of an empire going. This is... Now this is massive. <gasps> Yes. Yes, this is what we need. Can you can you come in? They will. Okay. Here we go. We're about to have real success. This you ain't seen nothing yet, Russia. Here we are. We just need Germany on our side and we can do anything. Uh oh, we might be losing. Oh. <laughs> we won. Nice. Anyways, what that taught me is that our military tech is still not nearly up to par. Oh, we don't have gas defense, that's why. Wow, our uh, empire is becoming something else, isn't it? Oh, uh, the Andine Federation got back together, and they're actually looking fairly strong. Oh, we can create Transcaucasia. We just need to become a great power. That's not going to happen. I don't think we're going to make Transcaucasia, though. Not only because of the great power thing, but because we already did that. Instead, we're going to do something a little bit different. Obviously, we want to destroy Russia. Well, none of this that we own is actually a part of Russia in the modern day, as you can tell if you know maps. So we gotta make sure that we get stuff that is to make them weak. Oh. <laughs> the Republic of San Mar That's just Venice in another form. Cool. Oh no, I didn't pay attention and I lost this. Wait, are you kidding me? We still don't have gas defense. <laughs> oh, not again. We have a great defensive line, but we don't have gas defense because our people are complacent and they don't invent things. Are you, are you done with your second great war yet? Nope, that's still going on. Alright, here we are trying again. Um, we're gonna mobilize from the start, and overall we're just gonna do better. Alrighty, hopefully we can't cast defense this time. Are you ready? Yeah, pretty much. Let's go. There we go, much better where our defensive line is holding. I didn't uh, neglect this battle, and uh, yeah, pretty much we're doing fine. Even though I don't think we have gas defense still. Oh, we ally with the UK. Can we call in the UK? 
No, because they're at war with the Netherlands. We can't start another war with them. All of my allies. And just finish the Second Great War, please. Oh, I, I neglected it again. What am I doing? What? Why was the morale so low? Okay, well, we lost that battle too. <sighs> so the problem is Germany is stuck into a war with the UK that won't end before the end of the game. And so we're just kind of alone here. Give me a second. I have to go into the code. Oh, hey, wouldn't you know it? Germany finished their war, and they're, they joined this alliance war. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. We're attacking. Might have eaten tinfoil. <laughs> Yet more Russian interference. We have to go and get this done, because I think they're onto us if we don't finish this soon. How is Gran Colombia a part of this now? Wait, Gran Colombia? They formed? <laughs> they sure did. A name change can make all the difference, am I right? It's like a makeover. Oh. And there we are. First try. We won. Well, that's about it. I think we have successfully... I forgot about that. Well, that's about it. We have successfully defeated Russia. Did I succeed? Will Russia no longer become the greatest power? Well, we'll have to wait until Tuesday to find out. Wait a second, Pontus exists. And now they became Greece. Huh. All right, well, I guess that's that. See you later, Irax says goodbye. Wait a second. Pontus isn't supposed to be able to exist. It's, it's not supposed to be able to be releasable, and uh, not even by rebels, really. And whenever a country is annexed by another country via decisions, like Pontus was, it means the country adjoining gets the memories of the country that joined it. Basically, what I'm saying is that this isn't natural. This is the Terminator. Somebody's onto us. They're trying to stop us from destroying Russia. We have to go back and we have to prevent this from ever happening. Give me a moment. <clears throat> Alright, we went back a couple of decades, and we can defeat Punt. It's already here. Ugh, we're too late. We, we're gonna have to fight them. Wait a second. No, we don't. We have time travel. Let's keep on going. <coughs> okay, we're, we're back. Okay, we, we went a couple of decades back. They're right here. We gotta go. We, we gotta go further. Further than this. They're still here, what? Further, we're all the way back in 1836 now. We need to go even further. This isn't even the right timeline. They're still here! They're still here! Keep on going, keep on going. No, we gotta do this, ah! Further back, further back. Oh, oh man, we're so far back now. Holy crap! Oh, we're so far back now. They're still here, we gotta go, we gotta go further. Ah, further than this, further, further, further. We need to go further, further! Wait, how on earth did we even... <gasps> okay, we're all the way back in Roman times now. But I bet... Yeah, he's still here. Alright, looks like predating them isn't an option. We're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to annex them normally. Which I probably could have done at the start, to be honest. What was the point of this? Alright. So you're trying to kill me and stop me from destroying Russia. But I think I'm stronger than you. So I'm going to destroy you first. Man, but I never played this game before, so I don't actually know how the mechanics work. This was his plan all along. Hey, you crazy man, I don't want to kill you. I just want to die. What the F? I would even plan that. Oh, you just want to... What about? You see, I will... I want to stop you because I remember what it is like to be you. I used to be vengeful like you, and I deleted a country from existence. But it didn't solve anything. I just caused another, worse country to arise. <laughs> you can't just go around deleting things that you don't like. As much as we hate it, certain countries just have to exist. It's not our goal to destroy them. And your reckless giant travel could have destroyed the space-time continuum. Why do you think I was getting so abaki? Huh. I guess you're right. 
I let my um, personal biases get in the way of the fact that the space-time continuum could have been broken. All right, I won't break the timeline anymore. Good luck, brother. Well, that's too bad. Uh, we, we probably should have just talked about it instead of doing all that time travel stuff. But I guess he's right. Just because I don't like a country doesn't mean that I can erase it from existence or something, you know. I'm, I think I'm just going to have to um, live with the fact that a Russia exists. And I'm going to... No, it doesn't. I might have gone too far. I think that I may have accidentally changed everything. Alright, well, that's all for today. I guess I'm going to spend my time uh, trying to... Probably going back in time and trying to fix my mistake. What? Venice exists and Greece doesn't? Screw Russia, I'm living here now.